Hey guys, Yankee here, and today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on Spider-Man Fake Red. This is a single volume manga, uh, published by, released here by Viz. Uh, I don't remember who published it in Japan, but this is released here through Viz's partnership with Marvel, um, which is something they established a few years ago after uh, Deadpool Samurai got really popular and successful. Um, this manga wasn't published by Jump, like Deadpool Samurai was, and some of the other uh, jumped at a few little one-shots for Marvel stuff. This was a partnership that Marvel had had with a company before them, so Viz just licensed this. Um, and I'm, I'm bringing this up because, again, this is a single-volume manga. It's self-contained, it's a full story, um, but at the end the author talks about uh, hoping to be able to do more in this universe at some point, uh, and unfortunately that's not going to happen. Um, I think his artwork is really good, and he does, like, he draws Spider-Man well, especially swinging. There's a panel in this when we see Peter Parker swinging around, and it looks, it looks good. It's like how Spider-Man swings, where like he contorts his body in a way that uh, you look at as a human, and you're like, I can't bend like that. I don't think people can bend like that. Um, but it looks good. Uh, so this story, uh, Spider-Man, Fake Red. What does Fake Red mean? Uh, it means Peter Parker is not your main character. Some kid finds a Spider-Man suit and pretends to be Spider-Man. Um, our main character is a Asian American named Yu. Um, he studied really hard to get into some prestigious high school where he quickly fell behind because he was unable to keep up with the classes. It was too advanced for him. Uh, and so now he is just like skipping school and not really going. He likes Spider-Man, he's a Spider-Man fan, uh, and he's a Superman fan, or Superman, a uh, superhero fan in general. Like, we get a shot of his room at one point, and he's got little, like, Iron Man and other Marvel character, like, memorabilia, memorabilia hanging around. So, uh, he likes to rock climb, which is, it's because he likes Spider-Man, right? Like, Spider-Man can climb on walls and stuff, so like, oh, I like Spider-Man, let me do rock climbing. So he goes to the gym and does, like, the rock climbing wall. Cool. One day he sees a classmate getting mugged, uh, ignores it, uh, and then in the alley where that happened, he finds a Spider-Man suit just on the ground, and it turns out to be the real Spider-Man suit. Why is it there? Where is Peter Parker gone? You gotta read the manga to find out. Um, so yeah, you gets the Spider-Man suit and uh, is sort of accidentally put into the role of Spider-Man, where uh, one day he just puts it on and is just hanging out with it, uh, and then a fire breaks out and people think he's Spider-Man, so he goes and saves some kid from a burning building, and then stops. He stops for like a week or something, and in that week... Spider-Man's just gone, and that's sort of, I think, the point where he realizes that the, uh, this is the real Spider-Man costume, the real Spider-Man is missing, or I don't think he thinks he's missing, he thinks he just doesn't have his suit, and so he's trying to think of ways to, like, get it back to him, which is difficult because nobody knows who Spider-Man is, so he just sort of uh, wears it and is keeping it for now. Um, he meets a classmate, saves her as Spider-Man, she finds out that he's Spider-Man, and they sort of become friends. Um, so we get sort of that relationship. Uh, you, our main character, has like a nice little character arc in this. And by the end, he's no longer Spider-Man. Like, the real Spider-Man's back. The suit is returned, and uh, it's an interesting ending. And I'm just going to mention it here, where, like, uh, people know that he was pretending to be Spider-Man, and, like, he's getting, like, mocked for it, um, which is silly, like, there's a point in this where he talks about, like, wow, this Spider-Man suit's really well made, not like the cheap, crappy ones you buy at stores, so I don't know why people, like, he was pretending to be Spider-Man for a while, but, like, when people find out he's not, the real Spider-Man's there now, so I don't know why people think he's, like, pretending to be Spider-Man instead of just him being a guy with a Spider-Man costume at that point, right? Um, anyway, overall, I think this manga is pretty good. It's a nice one-and-done manga. Uh, it's not... I, if you like Peter Parker's Spider-Man, you might have some issues with this because, again, it's not... 
Peter Parker. It is this kid, you. Um, but I think one of the things I liked about this was um, uh, people think of Spider-Man, they think of his web swing. That, that's not even like a superpower he has. It's something he invented. But I think that's like the ability that most people, when they think of Spider-Man, they think of that as like his power. Um, but he's got like other powers too, right? He's got like super strength that he's a bit more durable, right? He's superhuman. He's got his spider sense. Uh, you doesn't have any of that. So a good chunk of this manga is him uh, terrified to web swing because, first of all, he's never done it before. But if he falls, he's dead. Like, if Spider-Man falls, yeah, he's probably going to get hurt, but he'll probably survive because, again, he's superhuman. Um, you is not. So he's afraid of that. Um, we see him constantly covered in, like, bruises and stuff from him getting banged up just trying to do... Uh, just trying to be heroic, right? Like, him trying to save that kid from the burning building gets him a little messed up. Um, and stuff like that. I think that's cool. I like that... Uh, what is his name? Yusuke Osawa, the writer and artist here. He didn't forget that. Like, in the end of the volume, in the afterword, he mentions that... Uh, he mentions, like, Spider-Man... I think he said, like, Spider-Man movie. The first Sam Raimi one. And so, like, he... He knows about Spider-Man. He knows what Spider-Man is. So when this new kid takes up the role of Spider-Man, uh, he's able to do a good job of basically establishing, like, okay, he doesn't have Spider-Man's powers. He just has the suit. He just has the web shooters. Uh, and he's going to struggle with things that Spider-Man would probably find very easy. Um, so, yeah, a pretty good volume. Um... The villains we get in this, there's one uh, right on the cover uh, in the top, like, middle, right next to the F in Fake Red. I don't remember what her name is. Uh, she is a character I'm unfamiliar with. Uh, what is your name? I'm... Ba -ba -ba -ba. I can't find it. Uh, screwball. There it is. That took way too long to find. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I never heard of her before um i'm not a huge spider-man guy like i've seen spider-man movies i've read a bit of spider-man here and there so i'm not familiar with her um she's like a live streamer who live streams crimes and is trying to get popular um she's okay uh another newer spider-man character that i am i'm not really familiar with i know who she is uh silk pops up in this uh and then we have scorpion venom uh here on the cover but yeah, uh, it's okay. It's a good little Spider-Man manga. It's a nice, like, one-and-done volume. If you want to read a Spider-Man manga that's not really about Spider-Man himself, but sort of about someone taking on that role of Spider-Man in his absence, uh, I think this is pretty good. Again, I don't read a lot of single-volume, like, one-shot manga. So this was nice. Um, a nice change of pace for me. So... If you want something that's just one and done, you don't have to follow five, ten volumes of something, uh, give us a go. If you like superheroes, if you're just interested in seeing a Japanese take on an American superhero, I think this is cool too. Uh, it feels very much... It, it feels like... just a, like It feels like an American comic just in manga. So like it's an interesting balance where I th it feels like a manga, it feels like I'm reading a manga, and at times while reading it, I kind of because I associate manga with Japan, because that's where it comes from, I forget that we're in New York sometimes, um, and then we'll just see, like, a New York subway, and it's like, oh yeah, this is, yeah, our main character is Asian, his name's Yu, uh, but this isn't in Japan, we're in New York City still. Um, one thing I want to point out, or just talk about, is there's an interesting use of color pages in this that I haven't seen before in a manga. Usually in... Uh, a manga, like, the color pages are just black and white, or there's one volume of a manga that I have where there's color pages in the middle, and that is one of my Sekere omnibuses. And the only reason those color pages are there, I assume, is because that uh, short, like, three or four page uh, color page story was in the start of another volume that they put at the end of an omnibus, so they just had to put them in the middle which I don't usually see color pages in the middle, there is, like, again, like, a pretty much perfectly in the middle of this volume, maybe a little bit less than halfway, just a color spread. Um, 
for no real reason. Like, it looks cool, and, like, when I flipped the page and saw it, it really stood out. Um, but it wasn't something that really needed to be there, but it really helped, like... It, it was cool, is what I'm saying. I'm kind of rambling on. It was neat. And then there's a couple other color pages, like, right towards the end, there's a really cool color page. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen that before in manga. I thought it was really neat. Overall, I think this is cool. I'm... I would have liked to have seen this author do a bit more. Um, whether that be more Spider-Man, whether that be another Marvel character, I don't know. Um, but I think it's pretty cool. And uh, it's it's a shame that he didn't get to continue. Because I would have liked to have read like maybe a, another standalone like Iron Man or something, right? Anyway, that's Spider-Man Fake Red. A fun little not Spider-Man story. But yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, watch more videos. I, I don't know what, I never did say that. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.